All right, so we've just taken a look at the most common basic function within Microsoft Excel, the sum function. We're gonna take a look at two other very common functions and just as easy to create. We're gonna look at the min or minimum and max, maximum function. Find the smallest value from a range of cells or the largest value from a range of cells. Take a look. So inside of the example file, I'm gonna click inside of cell A12 and I'm gonna put a couple of headers here. We'll say min, hit my enter key, and I'll do max, hit my enter key. So these will just act as the row headers. Now, I'm gonna go over to B12 and I wanna find, in this case, the smallest value that I've paid out for my different bills, the minimum value. Now, how did we build the sum function earlier? Remember that? We went up to the formula tab, we went into math and trig, and we found sum. Now, min and max, are they math and trig type functions? Are they text functions, logical, financial, date, time? Where's this at? Well, I'm gonna show you a really quick way where you can find any function. Rather than trying to dig through the books and make sense out of, well, which category should this be found inside of, I'm gonna to go to the far left of my formulas tab and go to insert function. This opens up my insert function window where they give me a search box. I'm just gonna type in min. I'm gonna hit the go button. And now it's searching. It's gonna search through all of its many, many functions that are built into Excel. There's min. And they give me a little definition. Returns the smallest value or smallest number in a set of values. Ignores logical values and text. I'll hit okay. Takes me into the argument window for my min function. And look at that, it grabbed B5 through B11. Is that right? There's B5 down, oop. I don't want the total and I don't want this empty cell. So I'm gonna change that. I'm just gonna grab the correct range, B5 through B9. There's my arguments for the min function. That's it, I hit okay. I just found the smallest minimum value from that range of cells, 50 bucks, right there. Min function, very similar in setup to the sum function, but now you're performing a different calculation or a different operation and finding the smallest minimum value. Now let's try the same thing with the max. It's gonna look almost identical. It's just gonna perform a different operation. It's gonna find the largest value. Same steps. I'm inside of B13. I'm gonna to go to formulas, insert function. I'm gonna search for max. Hit my go button, there's my max, I'll hit okay. Look at this, it's practically the same, it's just a different function. I don't want B12, I want B5 through B9, I'll hit okay, and I just found the largest value, the maximum value from that range of cells using the max function. So two more very common functions, min and max, very similar in setup to the sum function, equals the function name, min or max, a range of cells that you want to build to uh, find the largest or, or smallest value from using one of those functions. Try it out. Finish it off for February and March. Find the largest value and the minimum value, the smallest value from those two columns.